My name's Jacqueline, and I'm here today to tell you about my Palio Challenge at the Academy of Lions. This summer, I got together with a couple friends, and we set goals for where we would be physically and mentally at our birthdays in February. My one friend goes to Weight Watchers, and she also runs marathons. And my second friend is working off her post-baby weight um, by training with a trainer at the gym at her office. The point of this short story is that neither one of those two lovely ladies made their weight loss goals for February, and I made mine, thanks to the Paleo Challenge at the gym. So I'm here today to tell you about my goals um, and why you should vote for me as the challenge winner. There will be no pictures of me in bikinis, no spandex, just life before and after the challenge, and a little bit about what went on in between. This is me pre paleo at a trade show in California. There was lots of travel during this past month, and it made eating quite a challenge. I was also in New York for business, and I did my best to scour morning delis to find acceptable foods and to uh, avoid the really yummy bread and bottles of wine that were set out at dinner parties with clients, which I successfully did. If I had thought my body would change as much as it did, even for a millisecond, I might have taken more before, fo before photos. This is me now, and here are a few facts about how I look better, perform better, and how I really just feel better, which is the most important thing to me. I ate really well during the challenge. Bacon and eggs was my breakfast staple, and I will be eternally grateful for any kind of food regime that focuses on bacon. Um, meat and veggies pretty much rounded out the days, and as I mentioned, travel was challenging, but uh, you can pretty much order meat and vegetables wherever you go. There were certainly none of these on my trip, and I think that's what I miss the most from my traveling and trade show morning routine. So how do I look now? Here are the basic stats. My pre-Paleo Challenge weight was 214.6 pounds. On the 17th of February when I finished, I started a bit late because of my traveling, I was at 203 pounds. And by my birthday, February 25th, which is today, by the way, I'm 36 years old today, I was down at 198.6, thoroughly meeting my goal of being under 200 pounds by my birthday. And I should probably mention that I've had this birthday goal for the last five years. So I've lost two inches off my hips, two inches off my chest, um, an inch off each arm and two inches off my waist. That's a total of eight inches. And, um, well, these are my old jeans and these are my new favorite jeans. And I'm pretty sure that nothing else needs to be said on that. As far as my benchmark workouts, my kettlebell swings, uh, I went up from 181 to 195 in five minutes. And my Annie Wad, I went down from 18 minutes and 35 seconds to 15 minutes and 30 seconds. The real breakthrough for me though, it really came during the workout tug of war. And there's a video link here attached to the Academy Alliance YouTube site where you can see it. You won't see me in the footage. Um, I'm on the right and I actually won a tug of war. I was so excited that I rushed home to tell Ted about it and I wrote it in my diary. And it was a real accomplishment for me to feel that I could control my own strength. Um, especially at seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm really proud of the work that I did during this challenge. I'm really proud to continue my paleo eating most of the time. And um, who knows, if I win this paleo challenge this year, maybe next year you'll even get to see me in a bikini.